Hi guys, my name is Joel. I'm a security researcher. So let's have a look at Wi-Fi security today, right? A very basic uh, feature, hiding the SSID. So access points sometimes, you know, they hide the SSID so that it's not visible for <coughs> any clients, right? So uh, if, if you're a legitimate client and if you know the SSID, only then you can connect to that particular access point, right? So this is a very simple setup. I have an access point over here. I'm using a D-Link uh, access point, and I have a attacking machine that's a Kali Linux with a Wi-Fi adapter, Eddy Max EN seven eight one one UN. You can purchase this online. I borrowed it from a friend, right? So I also have a Ubuntu client where uh, I'll be, uh, you know, testing all this functionality. So uh, yeah, let's let's get started. So um, let let me uh, brief you. There are two two different ways of. Uh, uh, you know, bypassing the um, uh, you know, hidden SSID feature. The first one is a passive way, wherein uh, uh, since we know that the access point is not going to broadcast the SSID, we will silently or we'll patiently wait, uh, or the attacker patiently waits until a legitimate client like this uh, Ubuntu machine tries to connect to the access point, right? So when it uh, tries to connect to the access point, you know the packets are the control pa the control messages and the packets which are exchanged uh, will be scanned by the Wireshark which runs on this Kali machine and we will be able to decode the SSID. The other way of uh, doing it, uh, which is a more active way of doing it, would be to send uh, the authentication messages from this uh, Kali Linux on behalf of this access point, right? So the Ubuntu client over here, you know, will try to disconnect and reconnect to the access point so during this process you will again have a lot of control messages being shoot out into the air and you will uh, and and the Wireshark running on this Kali Linux will be able to scan these messages and decode the SSID so let's start by looking at the passive way first right so these are uh, this is the uh, access point which uh, I'm currently using uh, DIR 505 D-Link access point and this is the um, Wi-Fi adapter on my uh, attacking machine uh, which you can buy online as well right cool um, also I would want you to show the um, uh, configuration on my access point so currently I have named it as wireless lab um, you can find it's working on channel 10 and uh, the visibility status is invisible so we can test this over here you can see you don't find this particular uh, SSID that is wireless lab you don't find it over here right so um, that's because it is made invisible. Now we, the whole point of this exercise is to connect to this access ID, uh, connect to this SSID, though it is invisible, right? <coughs> so how how do we do that? Yeah. So let's uh, switch to the attacking machine. So this is my Kali uh, Linux. So this is my uh, Kali Linux. So let's quickly open up the terminal, right? So to start with, uh, what we will be doing is um, uh, let's see the configuration on this. So you can see we have uh, the Wi-Fi adapter over here, WLAN zero. So let me create. Um, let me start monitoring this uh, adapter because uh, um, we will be scanning the packets. Uh, um, using a Wireshark, so let's create a, a monitor uh, for this particular adapter, right? So we can use uh, uh, the Airmon utility to create an adapter, right? So let's wait, yeah. Yeah, so we have a monitor ready with us, um, WLAN 0 Mon right so that's a monitor so now let's fire up uh, the Wireshark right I think Wireshark is a tool which uh, many of us are familiar with right so yeah so this is my Wireshark and I'm going to monitor my uh, Mo uh, monitor interface uh, which, which I just now uh, created right uh, WN0 let me click on this so 
we have uh, the monitor interface being monitored continuously now right yeah so now what I'll do is uh, I have uh, 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 a third uh, device my phone using which I'm going to um, connect to this access point So if we clear, um, if we keep on observing uh, this particular window at the bottom, uh, um, you will start uh, uh, seeing uh, different messages uh, once uh, uh, my mobile phone, you know, tries to connect uh, to this uh, access point, right? So um, and that's how uh, we will be able to, you know, scan the SSID from these messages. So let's do that. I'm I'm connecting it right away. So yes uh, I have connected it and you will start seeing uh, different messages control messages being uh, being uh, uh, sent uh, between my mobile phone and uh, the access point so let's stop uh, uh, the capture for now so that we can observe uh, what's happening let me scroll through these messages and uh, you should see something uh, uh, called as uh, response probe response right so I have something called as a probe response over here and uh, the probe response and probe request these are the messages which were exchanged between my phone and the access point you know when uh, when it was trying to you know authenticate with the access point and uh, you can clearly see here right uh, the text what is being highlighted you know I'm clearly able to see the SSID of my you know access point right so just by s scanning and swoop, uh, swooping in the packets I was able to decode the SSID right so th though the SSID was hidden we have successfully you know uh, decoded the SSID by patiently waiting until a legitimate client connects to the access point right so that's uh, that's a way of uh, doing it I could actually show you over here as well so if you scroll this down you will uh, see the SSID mentioned here right yeah so this is the SSID so we have uh, decoded the SSID so that was a passive way of doing it now let's see how we can do uh, how we can have an active attack you know in order to decode the SSID yeah for uh, active attack what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use uh, uh, a utility which is already present in Kali Linux called as uh, Airway Play so let me uh, uh, use that utility over here so as you see on the screen um, we have uh, uh, a command over here I'll tell you what this command actually uh, means uh, so that um, yeah that will be helpful so uh, as you see on the screen now uh, we have uh, the dash zero option over here is used to choose a deauthentication attack so as I told you earlier the basic funda behind is that we are gonna send a lot of deauthentication messages uh, uh, to be precise we are gonna send five deauthentication messages so that uh, uh, the client which is already connected to the access point you know disconnects and tries to reconnect back right so when that happens uh, there will be a lot of control messages again thrown up in the air as I showed you over here uh, when this client tries to dis uh, disconnect and reconnect back to the access point there will be a lot of you know control messages exchanged and the attacker over here will patiently you know scan all these messages and try to decode the SSID from that right as simple as that so uh, the the MAC address defined over here is the MAC address of uh, uh, the access point right so this MAC address can be obtained uh, uh, you know just by having a scanner and uh, continuously uh, looking at uh, the packets uh, you can actually uh, guess what the MAC address of the access point could be so that's how I have guessed and uh, this is the MAC address which I have obtained for the um, access point right and this is the monitor uh, interface which we earlier created right so now let's go and uh, shoot this
uh, as you see we have sent uh, five d authentication messages oh uh, but i think i forgot to uh, capture them so let's uh, do it once again let me restart the capture right so what we are going to do is we are going to send this uh, d authentication attack once again yes the, the authentication attack has completed we have sent five d authentication messages right so again uh, we are going to look uh, um, you know at our wireshark the packets over here um, i think um, i can stop the uh, capture so that uh, we don't have a lot of messages so let me use a filter over here to quickly have a look at the messages which we are interested with so this filter is nothing but uh, um, we are just uh, you know uh, ignoring all the beacon messages we are we are going to ignore all the beacon messages and all the other messages uh, uh, all the other frames are going to be captured here so you can see a lot of deauthentication messages which we sent right so now let's look at the um, probe response here let's look any of the probe response so as you see over here again we are able to have the ssid so let's click on this you can see the ssid wireless lab is clearly visible in the probe response right so we have uh, successfully demonstrated two kind of attacks the first one was a, pa a passive attack where we waited for the client to connect to the access point and uh, uh, when it connected we actually uh, you know swooped in and uh, uh, basically looked at all the control messages which were exchanged between these two uh, devices and we were able to predict uh, or we were able to decode the SSID. The second way is the uh, is a more of an attacking way where I um, where we kind of simulated a deauthentication attack from this uh, device. We sent out a lot of deauthentication uh, messages on behalf of the access point. So the Ubuntu client over here and the phone and my personal phone which were connected to this access point, they tried to disconnect and reconnect it back because we had sent a lot of the authentication messages from here so when they disconnected and reconnected you know there were a lot of probe request and probe response messages exchanged and we were able to you know decode or we were able to obtain the SSID from the probe response message right so yeah that's it for now hope uh, it was uh, useful um, you can drop your feedback in the comments thanks ciao for now